It's 50 years of the ShopRite Can-Can sale. Five decades of unbeatable deals and this unforgettable song. Now, ShopRite does the Can-Can, selling lots of brands of everything in cans, cans. Today, so much on every brand. Now's the time to shop at ShopRite's Can Can Bash. Now's the time to stock up and save. Now's the time to stock up and celebrate. Celebrating the 50th anniversary of the ShopRite Can Can sale. Stock up and save at ShopRite. This weekend, get to Kohl's and take an extra 15% off. Save on tech gear for the family, now just $15.29 and under. The Ninja Foodi Indoor Grill is $2.79.99. And find denim everyone in the family will love for $18.69 and under. Plus, get a little more for your wallet with Kohl's Cash. Plus, fast and free store pickup. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Select styles. 15% offer valid January 14th through January 18th with promo code SNOWMAN. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. Hey, what's going on? What are you guys up to? Oh, a little weed, you know. It's the Weedsman Podcast Nugget. Zippity what? Ready to drop the bass? Let's drop the bass. whoop de doo What does it all mean? All the random stuff that didn't fit in Friday's show you'll find here. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. You got a joint? The tarantula burger. Did you guys see the tarantula burger? No. Mm-hmm. no. It's made out of an actual tarantula. It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, I thought it would be like a term for like, hey, it's like a burger with a bunch of other burgers right. coming off of it. I read the headline and I was thinking that it would be... Like, maybe it had onion rings, like, sticking out of yeah. it. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> you know? it's actually made out of a fucking tarantula. Ew. Like, if you if you just took four onion rings, chopped them in half, and then stuck them on the sides of your hamburger, that sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, un- unfortunately, this is an actual tarantula, a, a baked tarantula. Baked? Like it's high? Bull, right. Bull City Burger and Brewery. Where is this where's, at? Where's Bull City in Durham, North North Carolina? Bull City. The Spider Burger? They have an exotic meat month. <laughs> yeah. It's in, that doesn't, in my pants. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's exotic meat month I, I, every I, month. Is the Thunder from Down Under performing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so far, Gross! That's so far, yes, there's the picture oh, of it. Oh, God. <laughs> Ass. I'll just go with cheese next time. What's happening? No, what's happening is you're playing audio of whatever that video oh, is. That fucking Surface commercial. Thanks a lot, HuffPo. Yeah, that's just, that's no. just straight up a, a whole... How much does this thing cost, cost for starters? It's $30. Fuck that. It ain't it's worth a, that. Oh, but you, if you finish it, you get a t-shirt. I wouldn't even try it. For, for a fucking t-shirt? Yeah, I've tried it. It could be $100. Before. This burger better be free. It's a 100% North Carolina pasture-raised beef burger topped with Gruyere. Gruyere? Gruyere? Is that what? Yeah. Gruyere? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a cheese that? guy over here. What, 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 what kind of cheese is that? The, the, uh, <laughs> have you ever had That's it? That's the name of the brand, yeah. I oh, mean, not the brand, the style. The, right. But yeah, I've had it before. It's pretty. It's a creamier cheese. It's more like when they melt it, it stays like liquidy, like nacho cheese. But oh, okay. It doesn't spread as much. Right. That's why it's good on burgers. Gruyere. Gruyere. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> I can't, I can't Gruyere. <laughs> That's what I want to French it up. <laughs> Do it up. So, it's not, so nice, Do. nice fat, 100% yeah. pasture raised beef burger. Some. Oh yeah, gay ass cheese, some chili sauce, <laughs> gay ass cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that would be blue cheese, <laughs> and, and an oven roasted tarantula. That shit is gross. <laughs> you can take that tarantula. Yeah, no, no, thank you. That shit out of here, please hold the so tarantula. Far, four people have eaten this as of the printing of this story this week. Oh. I would, I would hope for more than a T-shirt if I ate this thing. Yeah, do I get a hundo? Nothing would make me eat that. Do I get a hundo they, or a handy? If they eat it all, they get a t-shirt to immortalize the eight-legged freak. But that's what it says on their website, but I don't know what that means. Is it a picture of the tarantula you ate? Oh, I hope the uh, Rolling Stones don't see this. Did you see the... the, the piercing radiance. 
What the? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what are we what? doing? This song's called Spiders. Is it? Yes. Have you ever heard it before? Yes. What is it? System of a Down. It's who? System of a Down. Oh, System of a Down. You've heard this song. As soon as the hook Have comes I? in, you'll be like, oh, well, I've heard this song. Oh, okay. The tra- <laughs> there's. <laughs> so you have to get in a raffle to get a chance. Well, they only have 11. Thing. They only got like 11 tarantulas. Did you see the logo, though? I guess that's what goes on your shirt. Yeah. That's like the fucking. Mm. That's the Rolling Stones. Lips <laughs> they get a tongue. season desist. Yeah, they right. from Mick and Keith with a spider on it. I'd send them one. Rob, can you just print me up a shirt that says this so everyone thinks that I ate a spider? Yeah. Why would you <laughs> want? Why would you want to admit to that? <laughs> this is so gross. Rob won't even print it. Yeah, I wouldn't even <laughs> want to admit to it. Sorry, we can't take your money because this shit is gross. Sorry, right, Rob. Why would you brag about it? Yeah, I wouldn't brag about eating a spider. That's gross. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that a, shit is gross. There's yes. a picture of a of a lady eating that. Actually, I think there's uh, there's video of her if you want to see her eat, mm. trying a little bite. Where on the the HuffPo yeah. article? Yeah, there was an old lady on there that ate the spider. Maybe she had a fly inside of her, and perhaps she'll die. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, here we go. <laughs> The legs, the but they, oh. they serve it like open face. <laughs> it feels weird to like touch it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna eat it, bitch. And hey, thanks for filming in Letterbox. Yeah. <laughs> Did she? She pulled the, the leg off. I think. Like, yeah. She pulled the leg off and ate. Now she's like dissecting it. Like, if you're gonna do this, just put the bun on it and get it yeah. over. Why are you pulling it apart? Well, she's having fun with it. She's oh, sick. Oh, 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 oh. Did she just eat the abdomen? She, did, she ate the whole thing. She just pulled it off the burger and ate it. That's even wow. worse. Wow. My lady's I sick part of the, I thought part of this idea was that the burger, the nice taste of the burger and the gay ass cheese and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, they should help you to forget right. you're eating a spider. Right. This is supposed to mask this, this taste and texture of you eating a hairy ass fucking tarantula. Ugh. People have problems. Who eats a spider burger? <laughs> I. Mentally disturbed individual. That lady. She she seemed like she was doing it because she was kind of interested in it, right? I, I actually commend her. I thought it would was be it Mrs. Bourdain. <laughs> I would I think what's like that, what's that other guy's name? Like a fraternity brother, uh, or somebody that guy. got d- a- dared to eat a tarantula. I'm trying to think of his name. Who's a bizarre foods guy? I know what you're talking about. Fat guy. Yeah, Ball. Andrew Zimmerman. Yeah. His wife. Was, uh, what does this guy do? He just eats weird shit. Yeah, just everything weird. Oh, you never bizarre foods. Well, that that might have that might have come out and been canceled for several years. Oh, no, it's this still point. around. Oh, really? Yeah. Now he's like on like weird tours, where he's just like going after particular things. Well, eventually we'll all be eating crickets. Ugh. How about something slightly less gross than a tarantula burger? Please, a museum of Heinz beans. Do you get a sample of the beans? No. No. Oh. First of all, I th- no, because th- this guy is like a freak about the packaging. I don't know how much he likes beans. Oh, well, this guy is a freak. You should you should actually watch the video on this one. There's a, a gentleman. Okay, so like forty ish, maybe kind of British sounding gentleman with a bald head and tat- oh, this, and hair yeah, tattooed this already in place. Looks- Whoa. Like he, all that's tattooed on his head. He has like tattooed hair on his head, on oh, his bald head. Maybe I should do that. He's wearing a bright yellow suit with a bow tie. And he has an apartment that is, he has turned into a museum of Heinz baked beans. They are good, but I wouldn't are they? Him, Yeah, I wouldn't, oh, I wouldn't waste my time. The Baked Bean Museum of Excellence. And my name is Captain Beanie. Coming in for a whirlwind tour. You're wow. into the orange, huh, bud? Robin Williams isn't dead. Bean right. memorabilia paradise. Captain Beanie. One of the best like what is it? He's doing like Robin Williams doing a British accent. Yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> He's doing Mrs. Know, right? <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. That's what I thought of. Pot, which came all the way from the good old US of A. I love this little. Uh, so he, so he is in England. Yeah. Mentioned. Yeah. People have actually worked on the pickle line in the uh, Big Bean Company, and um, as a um, thank you, they've donated um, a pair of cufflinks, predominantly baked beans, of course. 
<laughs> what? Leave, cool. I've actually got the, Donald Trump. So what are you doing in your spare time? Because we got <laughs> Texas baked beans. And we also got the... Notice there's no wife. Well, as you well know, Captain... They're with him. <laughs> yeah. Baked beans, but not quite everything as it seems. Apparently one... Yeah, I bet he just waits for people to come to his door. Have, um, baked beans in oh, welcome cupboard. to the museum. No, no one ever leaves. Yeah. No, I there's a room we never see on here. It's the dried skin of everyone who's ever come so into I his apartment. Meeting, yeah. I've only got the only can in the entire UK. Oh, okay, so... I, uh, how many? So anyway, apart from the museum, <laughs> how many news stories can there possibly be? Possibly be about a guy in his what the fuck? Oh. Like he's got a whole bathroom, uh, a bathroom, a bean uh, themed bathroom. bathroom. bathroom <laughs> There's a shit I took this morning what from I, all these beans I eat. What I'm trying to get at is who gets the most of the uh, the majority of this guy's tours? Because clearly he does. Like this is his thing. So does he lure people back from the bar? They're like, oh, this guy is crazy. Let's go back to his place and and, and drink some more, and then you get a tour of the beans. Was uh, that a bean themed washing machine? He's themed everything in Heinz beans. Why Heinz? Are those really the best beans? This is why I rub beans all over my crotch. They're not the do best. They, do they use ketchup in England? One hundred hours. Maybe. I don't know. So Never been there. My name by That's Dino, weird. Or should I, say I think they would. His name is Beanie Captain. Or What's Captain Beanie? Beanie Captain. Like, I don't... Are, are, is Heinz known for its beans in America? No, I think they're like, known for their We just know... Yeah, just for the ketchup. The mustard's pretty good. I like the really? mustard, yeah. Plockman's, man, all the way in the barrel. Mm. Oh, that's the only way to go with mustard. Yeah. Like French is... I like... Get out of here. Miss me with that French is <laughs> shit. French is a close Clockman's, second. baby. I think they make that shit in Ohio. Here's a lovely song <laughs> about my favorite food. What is his favorite food? <laughs> Show the guests. This guy's favorite song. What's your favorite bean, Rob? Kidney. You like kidney beans? Mm-hmm. I love bees. I never found them to have much flavor. It's a favorite part of chili. Yeah. Yep. See, I like making chili, but I don't. I don't touch on the the kidney beans. Maybe I'll try it in my, in my chili. I like. I usually go with your your traditional like baked beans and then some uh, black beans in there. You put baked beans in your chili? Not baked beans. Uh, no, I was about um, to say. <laughs> Maybe well, chili beans, whatever the fuck they're called. What are they? What's the predominant bean in chili? Bean. Kidney. The yeah. kidney bean. Yes, thank yeah. you. Kidney. <laughs> beans are an excellent source of protein. I love beans. Do do do. Yeah, I I enjoy beans from time to time. But I'm not like that guy. I don't need a museum within my house. I don't need to change my name to Captain Beanie. I might change my name no. to that actually. <clears throat> But what about getting some tattoo hair? I actually thought about that, too. <laughs> yeah? yeah. I do, like, a, a part down the middle. <coughs> you know, like a, That's what I would, I would do, like, a sharp part on one side, and then just a little kind of swoop. I get, like, yeah. Superman's like, hair. And end tattoo. up looking like Betty Boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That'd be horrible. Wait, what? What's this? What? 500 years old. Oh, more shower thoughts. Oh. More shower thoughts. Well, I call them stoner thoughts. I think they're, they're more aptly described as stoner thoughts. So we throw them to the mainstream. We call them shower thoughts. Well, you be the judge. Is this a good shower thought or a stoner thought? In a dog's world, humans are elves that routinely, routinely live to be 500 plus years old. Mm-hmm. I would say that's a Jaden Smith thought. It's an idiot thought. <laughs> I think somebody that's like Tolkien obsessed. Yeah. KKK robes are basically full body dunce caps. It's, yeah. it's kind of a, it's a nice burn, but I don't know if that's a shower or stoner thought. Right. Car blinkers switching themselves off after you turn is a severely underrated quality, quality of life feature. That is not, a, that is a cumbersome sentence and if that's Next. if that's yeah. what if that's what does it for you, if that's how you get your thrills. <laughs> well, first of all, I mean they don't they, they'll shut themselves off mechanically after you make a turn. 
Yeah. But a lot of times, like, you just tr- change lanes. you got to flick it off yourself. And that's the biggest offenders are on the freeway. Yeah, I hate going around the big turns on an exit ramp, and it goes off. Like, it's on too long. The machine, like, your car will bark at you, basically, I like to call it. I hate that. My car doesn't signal me when my turn signal's on for too long. Oh, wow. Yeah, my old vehicle does that. need a newer vehicle now. I don't know if mine does or not. Because <coughs> you don't use it? No. <laughs> A couple of decades after we settle on another planet, there will be conspiracy theories of Earth not existing. Wait, what? A couple decades, well, a couple generations. Yeah, it had to be generations. People misunder. Well, sure. People underestimate how short a decade really is in the grand scheme of things. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like compared to the life of the planet, is- <laughs> a decade's fucking dick. A decade ain't nothing. Right. Right. And it's like saying that the. the uh, there would be conspiracy theories now that like vanilla ice didn't exist. That, yeah. that everyone just like made it up. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Like, no, we all still no, remember you know, it. No, yeah. no, 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 because <laughs> we were there. Been, no, he's been around and he's been a punchline for a while. It would be more like snow. Snow. Like the rapper Snow. In Farmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, your dingy boom boom now or whatever the fuck he says. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's I thought it was licky boom boom now. Licky ticky, Ricky ticky tabby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a boom boom in there somewhere. That's all we're sure of. Boom boom now. If we're keeping score, Rob won that argument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I had to hit all points on that one. These are pretty weak. It's from the I mean, don't blame. It's not. It's from Reddit. Oh, well, that explains a lot. Don't blame me. It's Reddit. Yeah. Special effects artists' entire work and effort is done in the hopes that you'll never notice them. Yes. <laughs> so what? Right. <laughs> well, no, it's not that you don't notice it, right? But it's not supposed to be the focus of your attention. And no, I'd say it's more stunt, problem- stunt people, not special <laughs> effects artists. Special effects artists, you want to notice that shit. Well, you want to notice it, but you want to be... You want to get lost in it, right? The, the problem mm. with special effects when you see the you know edges and shit, and mm-hmm. you it takes you out of the moment. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. You see the strings. Well, you used to see the strings. Yeah, you don't anymore, man. <coughs> Thank God like, for technology. I uh, with comic book artists, there's a certain level of detail that they want to put into their backgrounds and everything. And that varies by artist and by, and by situation and even panel to panel, but never do you want it to be like the main focus of this page is look at, I drew every fucking brick on this building, you know? And if you do, that takes your eye away from the story that's happening on that page. It's like being a set designer, you know, you want to, you want to have a good set that accentuates the the play that you're involved in, mm-hmm. or or whatever it is. I mean, they do set design for movies and TV shows and stuff too. Whoa. But you don't want to take the people out of the situation. And be like, oh, look at that! Look at all that shit going on in the background. Well, nowadays with you know HD being so commonplace now, I think that's what that's the sad part about television, where like but, everyone has gotten so focused on the little details that's taken away from the actual story in TV, and that's that's why I've lost. One hundred percent, Rob. I I just I had to get a new TV. My just out of out of the blue stopped working, and I didn't really get anything too big or pricey. But I set a budget and was surprised that for this modest budget that I had, I could get a brand new 50 inch television. Nice. I, could get, I could get the biggest television that I've ever owned in my life. It's a good size. That's why I have it on. A smart one and a Samsung, no less. Nice. I didn't even have to go off brand. It was, uh, I guess it was last year's model. It's not 4K. I guess. We're I, not even in that technology, like, right. commonplace type. I thought that I was watching, I knew that my. Last TV, well, I guess I never really owned an actual full 1080p TV. So that was kind of a jarring experience for me. Oh, yeah. Everything set back a little bit further. Right. The depth, yeah. it has more depth to it, and there's way more detail. I don't like it. <laughs> it's, I'm right. I almost want to go back. Like, can I get a 50 inch 7, 720 or what? what's the number? 720p yeah. is the step down from that. 
because it's too much. I'm watching Sneaky Pete, and I'm like, everyone's got bad skin in this. <laughs> Watch a Marvel movie. <laughs> Your eyes almost. Go, I almost feel like I'm going cross-eyed in a Marvel movie. Yeah. High def. It's like, oh. I mean, I love the movies, but I'm starting to just. I really like it for gaming. I've been playing a, a Zelda game on it, and mm-hmm. it's great. But for everything else, it's. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. Yeah. But who knows if I'll ever be able to watch like some of my old favorite movies, like Raising Arizona. It's going to look like utter dog shit on there. It's going to look like the Vaseline was smeared all over the <laughs> screen. That's why I'm worried about this new movie, the Affinity War movie that's coming out. Because yeah. I see a lot of, uh, how do I say it, J.J. Abram-esque lens flares for their space scenes and stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah? uh, no. <laughs> it's going to be blurry and light in her eyes. And it's not space. It's dark. Yeah, I was... <laughs> it, well, who knows? But from the looks of how they're portraying space in this movie, it's not like... The Guardians of the Galaxy, Kirby Crackle background and huge planets just, you know, spewing out gases and shit. Right. Like, all this cosmic stardust and crazy shit going on in the background. That totally unrealistic version of space that we saw in the in the comic books when we were kids. Ragnarok was a good... And Rag- yeah, Ragnarok was... A, they probably did even better than Guardians of the Galaxy, in my opinion. That, yeah. That really crazy detailed... Space, yeah, and the and, hyper color, you know, yeah, and they want to kind of root this one in a more realistic world, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, Captain America is a different character, and he's kind of set the tone for the the Avengers movies as well, mm-hmm. where it's it is a little more grounded, a little more serious, you know. It, Sure, at the end of the day, Thor was probably sa- fighting to save the universe yeah. in, in Ragnarok, but he was really doing his own thing. You know, it was more about his personal battles with his father and his brother well, and his estranged his his strange sister. That, yeah. was, that, was a fan- that was Thor goes home for Thanksgiving and shit just, like, melts down. Right. The Avengers, yeah, it's a little more, a little more Justice League leaning where everything's super serious. Mm-hmm. So we can't have all these crazy, fiery space backgrounds. We need to have something like Star Trek looking. It's unfortunate. <laughs> right. <clears throat> but who knows? I'm sure I'm going to love the movie. Yeah, it's going to look amazing. I've seen and, a lot of uh, clips already. And, you know, maybe maybe it's going to look just as fantastic in its own way. It's not like Kirby's the only comic book artist that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of artists. Their style's differ vastly and you know not everyone's going to paint space like that just because they're doing a Marvel comic doesn't mean that their their space is going to be all crazy and detailed sometimes it's just dots yeah <laughs> you know because that's what space looks like <laughs> pretty much If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook by searching for Christopher Media. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. And thank you for listening. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. What makes Fairway the most unique market in New York City? We provide the best selection, period. 60 varieties of olives, 70 custom roasted coffees, 80 selections of fresh fish. Fairway, like no other market. Visit your local Fairway today. What makes Fairway the most unique market in New York City? We provide the best selection, period. 60 varieties of olives, 70 custom roasted coffees, 80 selections of fresh fish. Fairway, like no other market. Visit your local Fairway today.